What's up guys? Uh, welcome to Kydex Belt Clips Part 2. As you can see, I got another sheet of Kydex here. Another, well, I can't really see it, in the, can't, can't get it into frame, but probably see off the label. It's, um, it's a 12 by 12 squ inch square of 0.125 inch Kydex. You know, originally I was using uh, 0.08 inches. And I also have a sheet of 0.06 inches, which I haven't really gotten to use yet. But, you know, man, like, it's a huge difference in the thickness. Like, let me show you guys the difference. You can see, like, wow, it's uh, almost twice the thickness. Um, what happened was I did end up doing a new method, a new technique for making the belt clips. And it turned out to be much better than when I was using that, you know, silly SD card uh, holder. <clears throat> but what happened was I wasn't happy with how flexible the uh, 0.08 inch Kydex is. And I thought about may maybe getting the like 0.093 inch thick Kydex. But I wasn't sure if that would be thick enough and have the rigidity that I wanted for, you know, a really solid belt clip. So I went ahead and got the thickest stuff I could get. You know, you can see it, there's a little flex to it but not much and i figure when it's on the belt it'll you know probably support a lot of weight which is good for a holster you know not only do you want it to support weight but when you're tugging on the clip you don't want it to flex too much and have it come off your belt or to actually snap if you over flex it which i think is pretty impossible but um what, what actually happens with the thinner kydex is if you do overextend it you'll end up actually um taking the bend out of it and you know, your clips won't close up as tightly as they originally were. I'm gonna have to cut this down. Um, when I bought this sheet, I figured I would just use it just for belt clips. And I figure I could probably get 10 to 12, probably, yeah, probably more like 10 um, belt clips out of this, you know, square foot um, of Kydex. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. And I don't think I'm gonna need the whole six inches on each side for the belt clip, at least the size that I'm making anyway. So first first one, I'm also gonna cut like a small square out of one corner of it and put it together with my template to get a flatter finish. But I'll show you guys in the later part of the video. Um, I'm not gonna record myself cutting this. It's gonna take some time. I'm gonna make some measurements, try and keep this nice and consistent and keep the cuts uh, and the lines really straight. So I'll get back to you guys after I have the first piece cut out. Well, so far I've only made the first cut, and uh, not even a clean one, eventually it's just, I guess I kind of cut halfway and then snap through the rest of it. See how rigid this stuff is, like, you know, it's like springing back. Um, since it's thicker, it does take a lot more to actually get through it. Uh, there we go. So, you know, for something like this, you really do want to be careful. You want to, when you start, if you are, you know, I really wish I had a, like a bandsaw or something. But um, for your first cup, you really do want to be careful and um, go really lightly with the razor blade to make your mark. And once you eventually start cutting a groove into it, then you can apply more pressure. Uh, it took me several minutes of, you know, carefully going through the same line over and over again before I got to the point where I felt comfortable snapping it in half without having it shear off or anything. Anyway, now I gotta work on the other side to actually get um, this uh, horizontal cut versus the uh, vertical cut. And when I get that piece cut out, I'll get back to you guys. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll get that piece cut out and then I'll actually do a uh, fine sanding first on the edges because what happened with my other belt clips is that I didn't really do any sanding at all, which, you know, I knew like uh, since the first few I was doing is just kind of like a test run, a practice run. I knew that, you know, they would have sharp edges, but I didn't realize how sharp they would be um, tearing up against like my belt and my pants. So I'm actually just going to quickly get some, you know, coarse grit sandpaper and just run along the edges, um, take out any burrs, any sharp corners there are before I actually do the molding process. Because what happens is if you mold it first, you won't be able to actually sand the insides. You'll only be able to sand the, you know, the outsides and the outer lip. You won't be able to get to the inner hook. So yeah, after I get that piece sanded off, I'll... Uh, Let's turn on the camera again and I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, I have my piece cut out and as also um, I sanded the edges and especially at the corners where they're really sharp. I just sanded you know one edge, the second edge and then the top and then beveled it slightly by hand. So you know now it's nice and smooth. Then I ended up doing a quick buff with um, 
Scotch-Brite. So you can actually see here, um, this is where the side that they cut, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark, but uh, the side they cut in is relatively smooth. Uh, you can tell which side is the side that I uh, kind of gouged out and then snapped off. It's not perfect. It's not meant to be for perfect. Um, I'm doing this for my own personal use. I'm not selling it or anything. So for me, the looks aren't as important as functionality. I would much prefer functionality over looks. And you know, it's not like it looks terrible. You know, it's just not super shiny buffed out like some other sheath and holster makers can uh, do it with their you know buffing wheels and sanding wheels and whatnot. But you know, I also cut out a small piece off of one of the ends. Um, actually, looking at it now, it seems like I didn't really cut it that evenly. It seems like this side's a little wider than this side. Not a big deal. I'll just use the side for the hook, and it's on the inside, so you can't really even see it. Uh, but I did, oops, sorry about that. But I did um, cut out a small piece to use, uh, not in frame. I did cut out a small piece to use with my template, uh, and here it is. My fancy super secret template. It's uh, literally just um, a piece of wood. I'm, I'm not even sure what kind it is. I don't really remember. Um, it's nice and solid. It's not plywood, so you know it's not really jagged at the edges where they're cut. I got it from Home Depot. I got like a sheet of it for under a dollar. Uh, you see a line here where I have traced, and uh, this is ideally where I want the hook, maybe even less of a hook, maybe like three quarters of it. And what I plan to do is actually use this cut off piece here as a template to put this solid piece up against and then do my bend. Uh, that way, later on when I do the fold over on the side of the template, I'll also just have it over here, I'll fold over, and then that way the backing of the clip will be nice and even and flush with uh, where the hook is. Um, what I did with the 0.08 inch thick cutex is that I just went over the hook so there's a slight bend to where the hook is. Uh, that might work out okay with that thinner cutex, but realistically with the thicker stuff, I want a nice even backing. <laughs> Um, just for looks and also because since it's so thick it won't bend as readily or as much as the thinner kydex. Uh, this is going to be my first attempt with the thicker kydex so I'm not really sure how well it's going to work. Oh also background is uh, my press. Uh, I tried making it into a hinge press. It works out okay. It folds and everything. Uh, unfortunately I do have to add some thickness you know, more plywood thickness to where the hinges are because when it clo folds closed and I have the foam in between, it actually won't shut all the way. Kind of uh, one of those hindsight, you know, I should have thought that earlier. Whatever, not a big deal. Um, I can just unscrew it, add more thickness plywood to it, and um, make a folding press, I guess. But I'm going to use this as a heat protectant from this table underneath it. I have my heat gun here. It's a Kawasaki heat gun that I got off Amazon for $25. And the biggest difference between how I'm doing the belt clips now versus how I did them in the last video is the last video I used oven and what happened was I would heat the entire piece and I would try and form that entire piece in one go. And it did not work out very well because for such a small piece of kydex it would cool off very rapidly and it would harden up again. So what I thought about doing is since I do have a more rigid template now I can actually do it in sections. And what I mean is I'll just heat up one portion of the kydex, you know, like maybe this much, and then make this bend, let it cool, and then heat up the next portion with this wood template protecting the kydex underneath it. So that other part that I've previously molded won't heat up again and won't, you know, deform. So I'll start doing that. You know, I'm going to try and do it. I don't know how much battery life I have left on this uh, camera, but I'm going to try to do it all in one shot. And hopefully the battery doesn't die out on me. So here we go. Um, because I'm not using the oven, I'm not really sure what the temperature is. I'm actually using the lower setting on the heat gun to do this. Um, you know, one thing I like to do is just kind of hold it. And once I see the kydex is starting to sag, that's when I figure it's soft enough for me to bend. Um, since it is thicker, I do expect that it'll take a lot more heat and a lot longer to actually get this to kind of sag a little versus with the uh, 0.08 inch kydex. It was actually relatively quick before you know I could start molding it. At the same time, with the thicker kydex, it should hold more heat, so hopefully I'll have more time to actually work with it than I did with the thinner kydex. And I can already smell it. It's uh, starting to get soft, but not really soft enough for me to bend really well. Probably should have put on gloves because it is getting kind of hot. Not a big deal. There we go. It's starting to soften up. 
Uh, I want to heat up a good inch at a time. Um, it'll give me the most air, like room to play with for the bend because because it's thicker, I'll probably need more material to bend to make that complete half curve versus with the thinner kydex. Honestly, I'm not even sure if this length of a piece is actually long enough because of how thick the kydex is. Um, it's going to require a little more material to make that curve. All right. I gotta try and do this quickly. Probably should have gotten my template ready earlier. Oh well, live and learn, live and learn. Uh, let me just get it here. Kinda estimate what a template is. Eh, we'll see like that. Okay, this template is not working. <laughs> Ow, hot, 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 hot. Okay. That's the first bend there. I have another piece from that shim to hold that section down to keep it nice and flat so I can actually hold it onto it without burning my fingers off or burning my fingerprints off. Okay, that template, that small piece did not work uh, mainly because it's too small, it moves around um, and because it's smaller than the actual wood template itself I want to be able to move it for later on when I do the second bend. Uh, unfortunately this is as much as I was willing to cut off the first piece without really knowing, you know, how much material length I need it for the entire clip itself. Um, the next one I do, I'll probably cut off a similar piece like this. I can glue them together right next to each other and then glue both to um, that wood template and it should work out a lot better. Honestly, I don't even know if it's really straight or not. I'm hoping it is. Uh. But you know, first attempts, live on video. What do you expect? May work out, may not. Uh, I may end up cutting this video short because I already see the counter for this part is already over seven minutes. Uh, and I'm only on the first fold. Um, you guys get the general idea. Maybe I'll just cut off here and just do the rest off camera. It does, you know, especially with the thicker kydex, it will take a lot longer to actually heat up each section and bend it and let it cool. Actually, let's see if it's cool enough now. Actually, yeah, hey, I got it pretty close to that line that I marked out. That's pretty good. It's, uh, it's still pretty hot. I don't like to use my fingers because normally they're already desensitized from holding it in the heat. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if I want the hook part to be that thick. So I think, you know, maybe I'll redo it. I mean, you guys get the general idea. I'll just mainly, f next part is I'll heat up here and then fold this over behind it. Um, and it looks like I ha I'll have just enough material to overlap this hook so I guess that cutting out that thickness actually worked out pretty well so yeah uh, I think I am gonna redo this part again and I'm gonna try and make this hook just like maybe two three millimeters shorter um, for this kind of size that distance actually matters quite a bit uh, so I'll redo that part and then I'll show you guys the you know after the last fold <laughs> 